All right. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Soul Smith, which is book two in the Cradle series by Will White. Um, going to start off with some things I really liked about this book. Uh, I really am liking the series so far. I like how Will is diving into it and setting up pieces ahead of time for future books. I think that's really good, and I think the format that he's using where he is kind of, they're, they're smaller books, which is kind of nice if you want to, you know, get a quick read in, right? But they're also good because he can set up a single series of events, one location, and really dive into it without having to worry about setting up a multi-part of travel from here to there, and you can use the time in between books to for travel time, things like that. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I really, he spends a lot of time with Lyndon in this book on increasing his capabilities and he does it in a cool way and kind of, you know, Lyndon's such a good character because we get to see the world through his eyes as he steps from, you know, point A to point B to point C and we get to see how it grows and a lot of writers do this, right, with new characters. Um, for example, let's just, first thing that popped in my head is Harry Potter, right? You know, we jump in, we see, we get to see the wizarding world through Harry's eyes. We get to see this new world through someone who doesn't have pre-access to this world. So I think he's doing a really good job with that. Um, I didn't really feel any drag in this book. I felt like events flowed pretty well into each other. Again, it's pretty short, so that kind of helps there. Um, now some things that might kind of pulled me out a little bit um in terms of character growth there wasn't a whole lot um Lyndon's powers and abilities change and grow but his character not as much as I think we'd normally see from a traditional book um of this not this length but this kind of format and style I think um if there were more scenes, more time, there would be more character growth. But I think there's also semi benefit in this because, like, since they're so short, Will can spend his time developing the character over the series rather than focusing on like what does the character need to improve on in this book. Um, a lot of uh, th another thing I didn't like is a lot of the training in this book is summarized. Um, I mean, we do get some details with certain things, and um, try, I, I want to not spoil too much in the book because um, I want I, I want people to want to read it and stuff like that. But uh, some of his advancement scenes are really well detailed, but the training itself is kind of shorter hand, which can be fine. Um, but it's something that maybe would have been cool to see a little bit more of. Um. And then there's there's a problem with um, I actually think this is one positive in this book. There's a battle towards the end of the book. Um, I'll try not to give too much away, but minor spoilers. Um, where we meet a character named Ethan, and. The battle doesn't really have any pressure, but I think that plays into the battle well because it makes it more comedic rather than dramatized. Um, but even in kind of the climactic stuff, I don't I don't feel as many like stakes within those fights because you know we know the main characters are not going anywhere because there's more books to come after this. Um, and so I don't really feel a lot of threat or pressure from them. Now, he does this well in other parts um, where he does have a lot of really good stakes. And I think he does this almost better without fights. So I'm really impressed by that. I think that's really awesome. So um, I, if you've read the first book uh, and you've come to this review, I would say keep going. I'm really enjoying the series so far. Uh, there's a lot of good world building that he does in this specific book um setting up for you know the future events we we've got like cosmo cosmos level and galactic level
potential events to build up to in the future, which is I think is really cool and gives Will a really good, easy way to, you know, a good straight path where it's already been set up and foreshadowed while he builds out the rest of the world and worlds potentially. Um, and I think that this book, uh, it's just one of the things, it just, it kept me in, right? It's so short that it's just, it's much easier if you, if you have a longer piece, there's a lot of trouble with potentially, you know, having chapters that you have to build out because you need setup for certain things in the end. Um, and I don't really feel that with this. I think that there's so many subtle little uh, setups that are just interweaved between scenes that it really, we can push to the fun, more interesting things um, while getting just a little bit for the future. Because there's a few things that came up in this book that were already set up in the first book. And I think that's really awesome. So I would definitely say, if you like the first book, keep going. Um, if you didn't like the first book, I, I would not... I, I think all the books in the series are going to be similar to, to that style. So if you don't really care for that style, you know, don't do it. But personally, I really enjoy it. I think it's a really good fantasy series. And I'm actually really excited to see where it goes from here. So... I think that's going to be it for me on this one. Um, again, if you guys uh, want to talk about this, comment down below. Uh, just keep everything, you know, cordial and polite. Um, you can, you know, argue and critique and not agree with me. Um, but just keep everything, you know, in a, in a way that we can have a good discussion rather than arguing. So... Uh, you know, if you like these reviews too, make sure to subscribe. And, um, I always like book recommendations. So if you want to leave book recs in the comments, that would be fantastic. See you next time.